And we are learning more this afternoon about what actually happened in a 1985 murder that led to an El Dorado County man wrongly convicted and in prison for 15 years. Ricky Davis released yesterday and a new suspect now behind bars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live where the crime happened more than 35 years ago with what actually happened. Marissa. Well, guys, tonight a new investigation begins. A man now in custody being questioned about whether he was involved in the murder that took place inside this home here back in 1985. Now we're breaking down this complex web of characters as the court tries to find out what led up to Jane Hilton's murder. This man, 51 year old Michael Green, arrested Tuesday in Placer County on a warrant. He's said to be one of three young men who was with Autumn Anchor, the victim's daughter, at a nearby park the night her mother's nightmare unfolded, July 7th, 1985. Essentially, did what 13 year olds sometimes do. She lied to her mother and said she was going to go spend the night at a, a someone else's house. She was really going out to meet with these three boys, really one of the three boys. We now know Michael Green was an Oak Ridge High School student and a minor at the time, so the district attorney would not name him as a suspect directly, but did confirm that same Michael Green is now in custody. I can tell you that Autumn used the name Michael Green as being one of the individuals she was with that night. Autumn Anchor, shown here, and her mother Jane were staying at Ricky Davis's mother's house on Stanford Lane in July of 1985. She's never spoken to the media about what happened. You know, but thank you for coming by. In 2019, the Sacramento County District Attorney's Crime Lab analyzed the victim, Jane Hilton's nightgown, and identified Michael Green as a new suspect, the first case of its kind in California history. Without investigative genetic genealogy, we would not be here today. Just glad to be out. Thursday, a judge declared Ricky Davis factually innocent and dismissed all charges against him. Out just in time for Valentine's Day with his family. I, I miss this beautiful country. You know what I mean? I miss the trees. I miss everything. I miss fresh air. Well, a new chapter begins uh, as this in this case, a case that has rocked the entire community here. Coming up next at five o'clock, we speak with longstanding reporters at a newspaper here in town who have been covering this case for decades. What they have to say and their insight with all of this new information coming out this week, guys.